Hi guys, had a request from Shulan C. Wanted a geared rubber band powered car with a tube body and cardboard wheels. Well, my daughter's just given me a load of these crisp tubes and I've just covered one of them with some sparkly cardboard. Got some cardboard wheels or discs that I've cut out, so I'm going to cover them with some sparkly card as well to make them look pretty, and then we'll get on and make a car with it. Wheels are ready, so that's just bits of cardboard faced with sparkly card and coloured in with a black marker for rubber, well to make it look like it's got rubber tyres on, it hasn't, it's just cardboard. The plan is to use pencils for the axles, so I need to make some holes in my cardboard tube. I've already put a mark on each end using my strip of metal so that I get a get them the same height front and back. So I'll now mark some holes through there big enough for the pencils to go through. have to start small and then make them bigger. It's important that these holes are a very loose fit for the pencils to go through. So I'll work on this quite a bit until these pencils are very loose in there otherwise there'll be too much friction for it to work properly. All up together poked a hole through there so I can put my rubber band motor through it. I've tied it to a piece of barbecue skewer to stop it going through the hole and then at the other end I've put a little bit of, um, that's actually a toothpick, small wooden peg to hook the rubber band onto. And I've also wrapped some tape around the axle to make it thicker to do the gearing effect that I keep talking about. So some of the rubber band will wrap around the axle and some of it will wrap around the thicker bit so that we've got a bit of extra leverage to get the car moving to begin with. On this car I don't think we actually need it but um, I said I'd do it so I'll do it. And I've also got a bit of wire here, stiff wire, with a hook on the end of it so that I can hook the rubber band through the tube. Ready for the test run? You'll see most of the rubber band is wrapped around the axle and then I've just got one turn around the thicker bit, the, the bigger gear. As I say, I don't think this car needs it at all, but I've done it. So it starts off pulling on a large pulley, in effect, the thicker bit of the axle, and as soon as it's moving it'll go back to the ordinary axle. So that's just to get it going initially. Okay, we'll do that again. This time I'll chase the car with the camera. So if you're ready, here we go. Even 
some rubber band left on the axle so it would have gone further. So summary time. What have we got? We've got a cardboard tube from one of those crisp tubes covered in sparkly cardboard. We've got cardboard discs for the wheels also covered in sparkly cardboard. We've got pencils for the axles. A tiny piece of barbecue skewer just to hold the rubber band in place. A couple of plastic tubes as spacers to stop the wheels rubbing against the bodywork. And at the back end I've got a little bit of a toothpick that's a peg sticking into the axle to hook the rubber band onto and I've also wrapped some tape around the rubber uh, around the back axle to thicken it up to increase the gearing or increase the leverage of the rubber band against the axle and that's it so job done <laughs>